Well, good morning. Today is Saturday, November 28th, and it's time for our weekly highlight meeting. And this week, it's on why it's a fan favorite. Why focusing on the good matters. It's week six. Okay, let's see how I did. Okay, we can't focus on the good on that number, can we? Oh my gosh. Did I enjoy this week? Obviously, I did. I gained 3.6. I, I knew I was going to have a gain. I really knew I was going to have a gain, but when I got on the scale and saw that gain, I was not expecting that gain. I really wasn't. And looking back on the week, I don't know why I wasn't, because um, I went a little crazy. But... Um, so um, once again, 212.8, not a good number to see. Uh, but I'm still in the 90s as far as my weight loss, 91.4. <clears throat> my best loss was 95.2. So I have gained almost four pounds from my best loss. And uh, I gotta get back on track. I just gotta get back on track. <laughs> That's all I can say. Uh, I did wanna show the number. I was thinking of just skipping the scale this week um, but then I thought, no, I, I like to be honest on this channel and I'd like to show the good with the bad and the bad with the good. And this was definitely the bad. I'm hoping the next four weeks to the end of the year, just showing you good because, uh, that's my goal for the month of December is just to be better because, uh, I can't be worse. I just can't be worse because I'll gain all my weight back if I'm worse. Um, I have no explanation, or no excuses, I should say. No excuses for the gain. Just honesty. I ate too much. I ate too much. I ate the wrong things. Uh, that's exactly, in a nutshell, why I gained 3.6 pounds. Like, eh. uh, Okay, so anyway, <laughs> let's get on with the meeting. Uh, why focusing on the good matters? It can be easy to focus on what's going wrong. <laughs> and they say, we can see you 2020. Mine is not anything to do well in a part small portion of a way it is part of 2020 i am used to on thanksgiving having 30 to 35 people sitting around my thanksgiving table i'm used to cooking for a lot of people um enjoying the day just having fun playing games sharing memories this year jim and i at the table i did send out porch pickups for my family so i still was able to cook but uh, i did um Wallow in a little bit of self pity this week, and uh, that's that's what that's what uh, went wrong for me this week. But what if we uh, shifted our focus to what's going well, from the super small stuff to the major moments, sparking feelings of gratitude all year long, not just in November, can have countless benefits on our weight and wellness journeys and our overall mental health. What went right for me was I was able to uh, still share the Thanksgiving meal with my family. Um, maybe not sitting at the same table, but knowing that they were eating my food. That was that went well for me. Um, also, I think what went well for me is gaining 3.6 pounds. Now, you'd probably say, how did that go well for you, Sandy? How can gaining weight go well for you? It went well for me for the fact that it showed me how quickly, quickly I can put my weight back on. And how I, if I have one week leads into two, into three, into four, it leads to one month, into two months, I'll be back up with my 91.4 gain before you know it. I'll, I'll be back to where I began at 304.2. I don't want that to happen. So I'm grateful that I'm able to recognize right away that I need to get back on track. And I need to get back on track today. Not tomorrow, not Monday, today. And so I'm grateful for the knowledge the WW has given me, all of the support from all of you guys. I'll be honest with you, if I didn't have to come on here today to tell you that I gained 3.6 pounds, I think I would have uh, just thought, oh, I gained 3.6 pounds, oh I can't wait till Monday, but let's see what damage I can do Saturday and Sunday, and then just start fresh on Monday. No, I, I'm, I hold myself accountable not only to myself, but to you. I am not losing my weight for you. I'm losing my weight for me. But you are keeping me honest and keeping me on track. And you are keeping me on this journey. Because there have been many a time that I'm thinking, 
I might have strayed a little bit. I know I'm not going to quit. I know I'm not going to quit. But I think that if I wasn't uh, doing this channel and holding myself accountable to reporting how I'm doing, I would very easily fall back into my old eating habits. And I can't do that. I just can't. And I won't do that. I just won't. Uh, the more we intentionally pause to notice what's going well, the more it becomes an automatic habit, ultimately helping us to keep the big picture in mind. So we want to take five minutes to practice three good things, and they've given us three good suggestions. The first thing they're telling us to do is think about good, three good things that happened today. Maybe you heard your favorite song on the radio or got a big promotion. Okay, it's early. It's, look what time it is. It's very early. But, if I had to think of three good things that have happened so far today in just the two and a half hours that I've been awake. I've talked to my brother on the phone, which is always a good thing when I can talk to family. And we love talking politics. And so, uh, we have, we had that today. So that stepped me off in a good mood. Um... Jim put me in a better mood as far as Christmas goes. Uh, I was kind of putting off putting Christmas decorations up because, you know, my family's not going to be here for Christmas. They weren't here for Thanksgiving. They won't be here for Christmas unless something miraculously happens in the next month. Who's to know? But for the most part, I was just thinking of not really doing anything. Um, Jim said, you know what, I'm going to put the Christmas tree up today. And usually I have to battle him to put the Christmas tree up because he always says it's too soon. It's too soon. It's too soon. Because we always put it up the weekend after Thanksgiving. And he always says, it's too soon. So uh, he has me in the Christmas mood now. So um, we were just talking. To, I, told, I said that I was just going to scale back this year. And then um, he says, well, we'll just put the tree up. And then I go, well, we got to put up the nativity set. And he says, well, yeah, that goes without saying. And so I said, oh, okay. So then he says, so we'll put the nativity set up in the Christmas tree. And I thought, well, what about the dining room table? I always decorate the dining room table. And he says, yeah, okay. And I says, and then I might put up a few pieces of my village. He says, well, I thought we were scaling back. <laughs> but he's put me in the mood, so that's, that's the way it goes. And then the third thing is my weight gain. Now, Sandy, how can you say your weight gain is a good thing to happen to you? It's a good thing because I weighed myself today, and I saw that I had a 3.6 gain. And it, it brought me back down to earth. It brought me back down realizing how quickly I can gain my weight if I just go back to my old way of eating. And uh, I'll have to tell you that I really wasn't that happy this week eating what I was eating. I didn't sleep well. I didn't go for my walks. Well, the weather kind of played into that a lot. But I didn't go for my walks. I didn't eat properly. I, um, I just had an all-around remind me of how it was when I was fat laying around doing nothing kind of week. I don't like them weeks. So that was a good thing that happened to me today as a reminder. Might not be a good thing to think about, but it was a good thing for me. Number two is write those things down in detail. Where you were, who you were with, what you were wearing. This will help you anchor it in your mind. Well, if I want to anchor this in my mind, I'll just come back and watch this video. I don't need to write this down because I, I just remember. I have a pretty good memory. So... Uh, I'll, I'll remember how I'm feeling today, and I'll remember the three good things that happened so far. And um, I'm going to look for three more good things to happen um, before lunch. So I just, I, I think if you really take a minute to think about all the good things in your life, for the most part, they're going to outweigh the bad things. Could I use more money? Everybody can use a little bit more money. Am I still happy with what I have? Oh, yes. Jim and I were discussing... Um, Christmas presents for each other this for Christmas this year and he says you know this year you didn't give me any hints and uh, and I, I realized it was because I have everything I need the only thing I really want is my family close by and uh, and I know that this virus is going to get under control and I'm going to have my family back next year coming for weekly dinners spending the holidays together enjoying our time together this is a small sacrifice that I have to pay for right now but I have so many things in my life that I'm blessed for with that uh, I can't complain about the small little incidentals that are making me feel sad like they did this week. Um, instead of thinking of the things that are making me sad, i got to think of all the happy things in my life. I am blessed with so much in my life, and I have to remind myself of that sometimes, which I shouldn't have to do, but I do. And number three, 
How did you feel when that good thing happened? Note how you felt and how you feel about reminiscing about them. I always love reminiscing. You know that. I love telling stories. I, um, I just, it's just, I'll tell you a Thanksgiving story. One Thanksgiving, I wanted everything to be perfect because I had everybody coming over for dinner. And so uh, the day started off pretty, pretty poorly because my turkey was still frozen. So <clears throat> I had to run it under ice water. I'll be right back. Okay, Jim was looking for something for the Christmas tree. Um, but anyway, so the turkey was still a little bit frozen, so I had to thaw it, which took a little bit. But I got it thawed, got it stuffed, and I always cook my turkey at 350. For some reason, I was looking at the package, and it said 325. So I thought, well, okay. So I put it in the oven at 325. Everybody came. We were going to eat at 2 o'clock. Everybody came. We put the potatoes, we put all the vegetables, we had everything cooking, everything was doing really well. And uh, I went to take the turkey out of the oven. The turkey wasn't done. <laughs> it was because it was still frozen and I cooked it at a lower temperature. I think the temperature was supposed to be 165, it was 110. Now, all of our sides are just about done, not the turkey. I usually have a ham with turkeys, uh, we usually have a turkey and a ham but for some reason didn't buy a ham that year because I had made such a big turkey and I thought well we're not going to need the ham so we didn't have the ham so now all of the sides are cooked everything's cooked except for the turkey and the dressing or the stuffing whatever you want to call it and everybody's there and we're all hungry so we had our Thanksgiving meal of everything but the turkey and the stuffing we ate the potatoes and the vegetables and and, and it was like a joke. Everybody was like, oh, yeah, this turkey tastes so good. You know, as they're cutting into a green bean. Mm. <laughs> so it, was, it, was, uh, it was a disaster. But we had so much fun. And my family is, we like to pick at you. If you like my daughter-in-law, Shannon, one time made brownies that didn't turn out really well. So she was known for her brownies the rest of her life. The, well, still, whenever she comes over. You know, did Shannon bring the brownies? <laughs> because it's just something. We're like an elephant. We never forget. And so we were just having so much fun making fun of me with that, with that, oh, this is the best turkey I've ever had. Can you, it just like melts in your mouth. You can't even really taste it. It's so good. <laughs> it's just, so we got, we got all, I got all of those jokes all through the thing. Um, my family, afterwards, we cleaned up all the dishes, cleaned everything all up, had dessert, <laughs> uh, played our games because we always played games or talked or watched the football game. We always did something. And then when the turkey was done, we took the turkey out, and uh, we had left over. We made gravy, and we had the turkey. And so uh, for dinner, for like a, our lunch or dinner, whatever, it was like at 6.30 by the time we finally did eat, we had hot turkey sandwiches with stuffing. So it could have been a disaster of a day, but it turned out to be the best day ever. And it was the, one of the best Thanksgiving memories I have. So um, I don't even know how I got on the subject of that. <laughs> I have a good memory as far as remembering things, but sometimes remembering why I said something, eh, out the door. Forgot about it, don't know what it is. But anyway, it, it was just, um, it, it was a good feeling. And I just have to remind myself of those good feelings. I guess that's the point I was trying to make. But um, the recipe is for shredded Brussels sprouts with hot bacon dressing. Now, you know, this sounds pretty good. I think I could make something like this. Jim doesn't eat Brussels sprouts, but I might try this just for me. It's And it's only one point. So um, I'll leave that at the end so that you can see it. See if you want to do it. But uh, it does it does look interesting. Some of the recipes haven't looked too interesting to me in the past, but this one does look interesting. So anyway, 212.8. Womp, womp, womp. 3.6 gain. Still a loss of 91.4. Got to remind myself, I still lost over 90 pounds. And um, why we have to focus on the good, and that's all that matters. So if you're new to my channel, please subscribe, leave a comment, hit the like button, share if you think that might help somebody. Let me know how you did this week. Let me know how you made it through your Thanksgiving. And um, next week, I promise, Girl Scout honor, it's going to be a better a better week. I'm gonna, I'm gonna lose a lot of weight. Maybe not the whole 3.6 because unfortunately my body can put it on really quickly, but it doesn't come off as fast. But I am gonna have a loss next week. You have my word on it.
So thank you so much for watching. Um, stay safe. And uh, remember, believe in yourself. You can do it. We can do it. I know we can. And we will.